Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about QuickBooks Online and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you categorize transactions in your QuickBooks Online? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna categorize your transactions in QuickBooks Online? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that it's important to keep up to date on your bookkeeping. And with QuickBooks Online, if you categorize a transaction, QuickBooks will learn and that way when they pull transactions from your bank, it's automatically going to be categorized in the future. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks Online account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my QuickBooks Online and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to categorize a transaction, what you're gonna do is click on this menu button here on the left. Once you do that, you're gonna see this kind of drop down menu and you wanna click on transactions. Next, you wanna click on bank transaction. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna open up your different bank accounts. You can see I just have one card attached right now. And what you wanna do is kind of scroll down and then you're gonna see these three categories, excluded, categorized, or for review. So generally, if you're gonna be categorizing a transaction, you wanna go here for review. That means that these transactions have not been categorized yet. So all you're gonna do is look for this column right here, categorize or match and click on it. Okay, so here is how you can go ahead and categorize it. So first off, you wanna go ahead and categorize what type of expense this was or if it was a payment. So when you click on this downward thing, it's gonna open up all the different types of expenses you might expect. So this one's for Taco Bell. So this was obviously a restaurant. So you can kind of just scroll through and then see which one it would apply to. So this one would be meals and entertainment. Now, if you're scrolling through and you don't see an expense that matches up, you can go ahead and add a new category. But QuickBooks is pretty good. They have a lot of different expenses that you might want to categorize it at. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and do meals and entertainment. Next, you want to go ahead and add a tag. And this is going to help you sort through your transactions at a future date. So maybe I'll just put Taco Bell or employee meals. Okay. And that way I can search it later here. If you're not sure what this transaction came from, this one's pretty obvious because it says Taco Bell, but if it says something else, you can scroll down here and see bank detail. So it lets you know where the transaction came from, kind of jog your memory. Okay. So once you have that filled out, you want to scroll down a little bit more and add the transaction to that category. Now, if you made a purchase and it's kind of split into different categories, you can split that into two categories. So for example, if we went to Taco Bell and then we have meals and entertainment, but let's say that they do advertising as well. We can go ahead and split that into two different categories by clicking on split. And then let's just say right here, if they did advertising. Okay, let's go ahead and add a new category. Okay, I added a new category. I'm gonna click on save and close. Okay, now we need to split this amount. So it was $5.97. So let's say that we did $2 of that was for meals and entertainment. And then $3.97 was for advertising. So you need to make sure that makes matched up to a zero and then apply and accept. Okay, now that transaction is categorized. So it has been removed from the review section, but we can click on categorize and there is the transaction right there. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to categorize your transactions in your QuickBooks online, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.